Call him. All right, Ghost Boss intro, take three. Mark. Action. Bonus objective complete. You just might be Ghost Boss material yourself. What's going on my geeks and welcome to Homebase Serenity. Today's going to be a little bit of a different video than what you've seen on the channel. I've done a couple of my Ghost Boss reviews that I'm calling them on Arcane. And I want to keep doing more and more of those. In fact, I've actually been working on something behind the scenes to get ready for my next series in Ghost Boss reviews. And this is actually the first video of that series where I'm going to be giving my spoiler free reaction and review to Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I just saw it earlier today, about eight hours ago. And I'm going to do this a little bit differently than I normally would do for a video like this because I'm not going to script it. I'm just going to put my thoughts out there and say what I have to say about the movie. And like I said, it's going to be spoiler free, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm going to avoid saying anything that's going to spoil anything for anybody because I know I hate spoilers, so I'm not going to spoil it for anybody else. But I wanted to actually put my thoughts out there and make this the first video of this series because I'm planning on doing an entire series reviewing all of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Over the last month, I've been working to rewatch everything in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, including the Disney Plus shows leading up to this series. That's why there's not really been much going on with streams and why there hasn't been any, any videos. I've been spending a lot of time like actually just watching these movies again and not having them on in the background, but like actually just really concentrating on them and watching them to figure out if my rankings have changed. And actually they did change quite a bit in multiple places from the last time I did a rewatch. So the other videos in the series are gonna be set up by the phase that they're in. So I'm gonna do one video on phase one, one video on phase two, one video on phase three. Then when I get to phase four, I'm gonna do one on just the movies, one on just the TV shows, the Disney Plus shows. And then now that we actually have the Netflix Marvel shows that are actually completely canon to the MCU now, even though they may still be kind of in a different universe, we're not really sure yet. They haven't 100% stated whether they are in our universe or a different one but they are at least pretty much canon so i'm gonna do a video on those as well and then the last video in the series is going to be like an overall ranking and review of the entire mcu to show where i would rank everything across the different phases when you consider the entire marvel cinematic universe as one big story but with all that being said let's go ahead and launch into my actual review of doctor strange and the multiverse of madness now i've been waiting for this movie for a long time people who have been on the streams and have seen me on twitter quite a bit they know how much i love wanda and WandaVision. It's one of my favorite things in the entire MCU, and it still is. I've seen the whole show maybe seven or eight times at this point, but I've been waiting to see what was going to happen in Multiverse of Madness with Wanda since WandaVision ended. I mean, I was even so excited for it that I've not only redone my display on my computer here, but I also went to the theater with a WandaVision hoodie on that I just got from Hot Topic about a week or so ago. So it goes without saying that I was very excited to see where this was going to go. Now, I know that it could be bad. I know it could end up being great. And to go ahead and give my overall, I I actually loved it. For the most part, I'm seeing other people feel the same way that I do from what I've seen with other reviews. I think it has like a 91% on Rotten Tomatoes right now when you're talking about just the audience score, which is actually really great. But I have heard some things where people didn't really necessarily like what was happening. But the people who say they didn't like some of the things that went on, like especially with Wanda's character, they probably missed something from WandaVision because everything that happens in this movie happens because of WandaVision. It's like if you haven't seen WandaVision, you need to see that before you see this movie. Because if what happened in Westview didn't actually happen this movie wouldn't be happening it's very much a reaction and a continuation to what happened in westview and what wanda did which yes we know it was wrong what she did she didn't mean to do it she just kind of lost control then eventually in the end she did the right thing and let westview get back to what it was before but the things that happen in wandavision lead directly into this film one of the biggest things that i want to praise in this film is elizabeth olsen's performance now obviously i love wanda in general but Elizabeth Olsen is a fantastic actress and she does a great job portraying this version of Wanda that we're seeing in Multiverse of Madness. I'm not going to say anything more than that she does a great job portraying this version of Wanda. We all know going into it that she was going to be one of the antagonists. She does a really great job portraying this mother who's lost her children and will do anything, literally anything, to get back to them or to bring them back to her. Which we know they're going to eventually be a part of the MCU anyway, no matter what happens in this film, because I'm not saying anything about what happens. But whether they do come back in this film or not, we know they have to be a part of the MCU at some point outside of all this because of the fact that her kids 
are Wiccan and Speed from the Young Avengers. And they've been building up so much with the Young Avengers this entire phase. Like they've got so many different characters they brought in that are part of the Young Avengers that they can't just not bring in Billy and Tommy or Speed and Wiccan, whatever you want to say. So we know they're going to be back at some point, regardless of whatever happens in this film. But Elizabeth Olsen just does such a great job embodying the role of a mother who's lost her children and will do literally anything it takes to get back to them. And there's more I could say about Wanda, but if I say anything else about Wanda in general, it's probably going to spoil something for the film. So if you want to hear my thoughts with spoilers, keep an eye out for my Phase 4 video where I talk about the Phase 4 movies, where I'm not going to hold myself back from saying things that would be considered spoilers right now, because that video is coming out in a few weeks, hopefully. I'm hopefully going to have all of this stuff done before the end of the month. I can't promise it's going to happen, but that's my goal is to get it all done before the end of the month. In that video, I'll go over my actual feelings where I can actually not hold back and say what I actually feel with actually giving details because right now I can't say anything else without spoiling other things. Let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the characters in the movie starting with the person who's the main protagonist of the film Dr. Stephen Strange. I've really enjoyed Benedict Cumberbatch throughout the entire MCU that's perfect casting in my opinion and he really really shines in this movie as I've seen in the trailers he has to confront multiple versions of himself throughout the multiverse who have taken vastly different paths than what he's taken so it's really interesting to see how that transforms him and informs everything he does in the film there were a lot of things that happened with dr strange that were not exactly what i expected to be honest there's a lot of stuff in this film that didn't happen the way we thought it might or the way it was teased that it might happen because obviously we went into this having seen different things in the trailers seen different teasers for different people that might show up or different situations some of it happened exactly like we expected it to some of it didn't and i don't necessarily think that anything could have been any different than the way it was to be honest but the art for both Wanda and Doctor Strange is actually really great in this film. They both, in my opinion, they, they both have a really good arc that shows character growth for both of them. Not just the protagonist, but the antagonist as well or one of the antagonists. So it really worked out well for both of them. Now a newcomer to the MCU was actually Xochi Gomez as America Chavez or Miss America. And I liked what I saw of her in the trailers. I thought it seemed like she was gonna be an interesting character, but I didn't really realize just how much we were going to like her, or at least how much I was gonna like her. I was looking forward to seeing what she was gonna be like from what I saw in the trailers, but I did not have any idea that she was gonna be so enjoyable and so fun. And honestly, Xochi Gomez was a big surprise, as the whole character was a big surprise, because I know a little bit about Miss America just from what I've learned once we found out that she was going to be in this movie. And I think they did a really good job introducing this character and setting her up for some interesting things in the future. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do with her in the future because she was such an interesting presence in this film. And Xochi Gomez herself did such a great job with the role. So we'll see where she goes from here. Now, I don't know there's too much more that I can say without actually getting into spoilery territory. So I'm getting close to the end of my review here. But what I will say is that I really enjoyed what they did with the Illuminati. We know from the trailers that especially one of the more recent ones where they actually like they actually said the word illuminati in the trailer so i thought that was actually really interesting what they did with it i wasn't necessarily expecting the things that happened to go the way that they did but i'm honestly happy with how it came out like honestly if i was to compare this film by itself without wandavision it was still a great film but it would probably be on the mid to high mid area of the marvel cinematic universe but with the context of wandavision and with the emotion from wandavision i'm kind of putting it up a lot higher than probably some people would but for me I still really enjoyed it I thought it was a great film and it really opens up a lot of different opportunities in the future with different characters coming in from the multiverse maybe we might see people coming back that we have lost before it's like we could see a different version of Natasha come back something like that or some other character that we've lost or this moved on but this film in general just opens up so many different possibilities for what they can do in the future for the rest of this phase and maybe the phases in the future some really exciting characters they could bring in and I cannot wait to see where they go with this. So in conclusion, I'm just going to say that I honestly love the film. I know that may not be everybody's cup of tea because there's there's a little bit of a mixture of tone between the first half and second half, but I think that was kind of intentional. I think Sam Raimi did that on purpose to kind of throw people off because that's one of the things that he does. He likes to throw people off with the way he shoots things and the way he does his films. I think that's why there's a little bit of a disconnect in the tone between the first half and the second half, but I still think the film was great overall and I definitely recommend going to check it out. But that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different than what I normally do on the channel because it wasn't as scripted as normal. So thanks again for watching, everyone. Stay cool, geeks. Have a great day, and please stay safe out there.